get ready for the dictation. Dictation will start in 5 seconds. Start. Mr. Vice Chairman, Sir, at the outset, I must express my thanks to the honorable members on both sides of the house who have participated in the discussion on the sixth five-year plan document. Honorable members will very kindly appreciate that within the short time at my disposal, it will not be possible for me to clarify all the points which they have raised during the course of the discussion. I am going to confine my remarks to certain important aspects of the discussion, though I have taken note of almost all the points which honorable members made during the course of the discussion. At the outset, I must also say that one of the honorable members was pleased to ask what is the purpose of having this kind of a discussion. One and a half years or almost two years after the plan has started. I do not know whether honorable member do recollect that my predecessor Mr. Tiwari had circulated a note to all the members of this house particularly about the sixth plan framework and he expected that the Honorable members will be able to send their remarks to the minister and also to the planning commission so that before the draft document of the sixth plan is prepared and finalized, their views could be taken into account. How many members sent this kind of information is a matter which I will have to inquire into but that exercise was gone into and now the plan was finalized in February 1981 and thereafter we have taken the earliest possible opportunity to see that the plan is discussed in both the houses. Sir, I am aware of the fact that the international situation and also the internal situation in which this sixth five-year plan has been finalized will definitely have some kind of an impact on the plan document as it was prepared and how we will be succeeding in trying to avoid the adverse effects it might have on the achievement of the physical targets that we have set for ourselves at the end of the sixth five-year plan. Sir, there are three points which were mentioned by all the honorable members. The first was that the plan was prepared with 1979-80 as the waste year and thereafter there has been a price rise of a considerable order. Sir, the first thing which I would like to clarify is about the inflationary trend which has set in one of the honorable members shri sankar ghos a very experienced member of this house who had also been in the planning commission and knows the intricacies of how the things are being worked out has been pleased to state here that the rate of inflation is very high and added to that the balance of payments position is going to be very bad. Compared with the percentage that we have worked out for the sixth plan as a whole for imports, for the first year the import will has risen very high. Then, how is this assumption going to be correct? This is the point 
and a very valid point which he raised during the course of the discussion. Sir, he also mentioned about the Honorable Finance Minister making his speech at Kanpur wherein he seems to have made a reference that a little inflationary trend is a kind of a stimulant to the economy. Sir, the inflationary trend we cannot view in isolation. Honorable Shri Shankar Ghosh will definitely agree with us that there are two factors which will have to be taken into account. The first factor is that international situation which is now obtaining. Secondly, whether we like it or not, we have to import the good oil products. If they are to be imported, we can take a serious review view of the situation. That is a thing which I am sure most of the honorable members there will be able to appreciate. The second aspect is why is it that we have such a high import will in 1980-81? When the plan itself commenced and when we were talking in terms of 9%, immediately in the very first year it jumped. I am sure that most of the honorable members are aware of the fact that it is on account of the kind of legacy that this government got. I would not like to dilate on this on that issue but the fact of the matter is that the agricultural production had gone down even in the industrial sector there was a decline of 1.4 percent the coal production had considerably gone down in terms of production and the electricity generation was at the lowest. If we had to make a beginning, which in fact is within the control of the government of India, with these infrastructural facilities which will have to be provided both in the agricultural sector and the industrial sector, concerted efforts will have to be made fully stopped.